scientist, you would come on a quarterly basis. Why do you think they use quarterly instead of monthly? Okay, because of the four seasons, that would be a really good reason to do it that way. And there could be changes within the season, like some of the larva state will now become um, adults. And if you hit it at a season when it's just eggs um, or really tiny uh, macros, you might not see them because they're really, really small. We find in August that the bugs in the water are really tiny. And by this time, I've noticed some of you guys in your dip have some really big bugs, okay? Those bugs are about to become adults, and so in a month from now, we might miss them in our sampling because they're now adult bugs out in the air. Okay, so that's one reason. Why else would you need to do it? You would do it quarterly versus, say, um, monthly. Well, I guess that would be with the season, but why, why don't they do it more frequently or less frequently? Okay, cost would be a good reason. Uh -huh. Okay, if you sample it too much, you can wipe out all your macros. Excellent. And and also remember, let's go back to why we sample them. They have that short lifespan. In that quarterly period, you can actually detect changes because of that short lifespan. Uh, so they found that quarterly worked best. Now what we did is I just randomly had you go in there and get a sample so we have something to look at here. If you came out again and you were a scientist that was turning in this data, you would want to have a standardized method for how you measured it. And 